Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, Dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. We are gathered together in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. All together we say, I confess, I confess to Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in, in my thoughts and in my, and in my words. words in what I have done, and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who made the abbot Saint Benedict an outstanding master in the School of Divine Service, grant, we pray, that putting nothing before love of you we may hasten with a loving heart in the way of your commands. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Hear the word of the Lord, Princess of Sodom. Listen to the instruction of our God, people of Gomorrah. 
What care I for the number of your sacrifices, says the Lord? I have had enough of whole burned rams and fat of fatlings, to the blood of elves, lambs and goats, I find no pleasure. When you come in to visit me, who asks these things of you? Trample my courts no more. Bring no more worthless offerings. Your incense is loathsome to me. New moon and Sabbath, calling of assemblies, octaves with wickedness, this I cannot bear. Your new moons and festivals I desist. They weigh me down, I tire of the load. When you spread out your hands, I close my eyes to you. Though you pray the more, I will not listen. Your hands are full of blood. Wash yourselves clean. Put away your misdeeds from before my eyes. Cease doing evil. Learn to do good. Make justice your aim. Red rest the wrong. Hear the orphan's plea. Defend the widow. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. To the upright, I will show the saving power of God. To the upright, I will show the saving power of God. Not for your sacrifices do I rebuke you, for your burnt offerings are before me always. I take from your house no bullock, no goats out of your fold. To the upright I will show the saving power of God. Why do you recite my statutes and profess my covenant with your mouth? Though you hate discipline, and cast my words behind you. To the upright I will show the saving power of God. When you do this thing, shall I be deaf to it? Or do you think you that I am like yourself? I will correct you by drawing from up before your eyes. He that offers praise as a sacrifice glorifies me. And to him that goes the right way, I will show the salvation of God. To the upright, I will show the saving power of God. Please stand. Blessed are they who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his apostles, Do not think that I have come to bring peace upon the earth. I have come to bring not peace, but the sword. For I have come to set a man against his father, a daughter against her mother, and a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. And one's enemies will be those of his household. Whoever loves father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. 
and whoever loves son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. And whoever does not take up his cross and follow after me is not worthy of me. Whoever finds his life will lose it, and whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. Whoever receives you receives me, and whoever receives me receives the one who sent me. Whoever receives a prophet because he is a prophet will receive a prophet's reward, and whoever receives a righteous man because he is righteous will receive a righteous man's reward. And whoever gives only a cup of cold water to one of these little ones to drink because he is a disciple, Amen, I say to you, he will surely not lose his reward. When Jesus finished giving these commandments to his twelve disciples, he went away from that place to teach and to preach in their towns. My dear brothers and sisters, the good news of our salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga po sa atin lahat. Kung inyo pong maalala, when you were little, kung na-experience ninyong magkaroon ng mga catechetical instruction, for example, during the elementary years, no, kaya Sunday school, no, ang isa sa pinakaunang pinapamemorize no, bukod doon sa mga basic prayers ay yung Ten Commandments. Hindi ho ba? No? Memorize pa ninyo ang yung Ten Commandments? No? Wala na. Ten Commandments. No? Um, if you try to check no, yung Ten Commandments na ito, ang first three no, ay tumutukoy doon sa love of God. Love of God, yung first three. Tapos yung four to ten, yung love of neighbor as you love yourself. Kung hindi nyo maalala, no, i-review nyo mamaya ngayon yung Ten Commandments. No? Dun sa pang-apat, no? alam nyo yung pang-apat? Wala, no? Wala na. Alam nyo yung pang-apat, no? It is to honor your mother and your father precisely no? honor your mother and your father no? kung titingnan natin yung love of neighbor no nagsisimula sa at sa bahay no kaya di ba may kasabihan charity begins at home and so since time immemorial god has been insisting or promoting this love of the family dahil yun ang unang-unang iskwelahan no? na natutuhunan natin kung anong tama at mali. No? Pero sa narinig natin sa Ebanghelyo, parang iba. No? but parang si Jesus sinasabi, Do you think that I have come to bring peace upon the earth? I have not come, not peace, but sword. Sa ibang gospel reading pa, no? I have come not to bring peace, but war. Ano ba ang ibig sabihin ni Jesus dito? Gusto ba niyang baliktarin ang Ten Commandments? No. no. It is not to be so. Jesus here is trying to tell us no, that while in the order of loving our neighbor, nauna palagi ang pamilya. No? Hindi lingit sa kaalaman niya na minsan, Madalas sa pamilya din natin natutunan ang mali. Hindi ba? Sa mga not so good of an example din natin natututunan yung hindi maga magagandang ugali from the very first teachers that we have. It's no other than the community that we belong to hindi lang pamilya, komunidad, no? mga kapitbahay. No? Kaya I guess, sa ating pagninilay ngayon, no? 
we come to reflect whether or not ang nakukuha ba nating mabubuti from our parents are we continuing it? And now that we are adult, are we aware na yung mga hindi maganda, sabi ni Jesus, I'll be the sword to cut it. Or are we not cutting it? Dahil laging komportable na tayo. Dahil may kasabihan, di ba? Blood is thicker than water. Pero it is not to be so, sabi ni Jesus ngayon. If you know me, if you want to follow me, you must be willing to cut off anything that is bad from your past history. Especially, especially kung ano yung namana ninyo sa inyong mga magulang, sa inyong komunidad na pinanggalingan. We cannot do it by ourselves, my dear brothers and sisters. We need the grace of God. We need Jesus' help to cut the chain of bad relationships. Cut the chain of bad habits that we may have inherited. Wala hong perfectong pamilya, ha? No? We can all agree na walang perfectong pamilya. But I guess, in our own journey no, of following Jesus, we must also be able to unlearn the things that we shouldn't be doing when we are to follow Jesus. You should be able to determine, no? Distinggo kung ano ang tama at mali. Especially when we inherit them. No? Wala tayong choice. No? Pero ngayon, actually, may choice na tayo. Na huwag ipagpatuloy yung mga posibleng masasama no? na namana natin because of what? Culture. No? Because of what? Community. Because of what? Blood relations. This is something extraordinary, my dear brothers and sisters. Because at times, we even have to, what? Cut ties. Loose connections. No? Gamitin yung espada na sinasabi ni Jesus ngayon. So that we may be able to fully totally and completely follow Him unconditionally. And so for this Mass, no, as we also remember today the memory of St. Benedict, no? marami sa atin dito may mga Benedictine medal, di ba? No? To fight off and read against evil spirit, ano? which is good. No? Let us ask St. Benedict to help us no? determine those bad spirits, no? bad behaviors that we may have inherited from our forebears. No? And use the sword that Jesus has promised so that we can fully, completely, and totally follow Him. Amen. Please stand. If we are faithful to Christ, we will not be always popular. May this mystery of the tension and struggle of the kingdom help to form our intentions. In every prayer we all say, Lord, you are our life. Lord, you are our life.
The church members may be courageous and constant in their faith amidst opposition and persecution. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, you are our life. That parents may have the strength and courage to guide their children in the ways of faith and Christian life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, you are our life. That young people may have the strength to receive to resist negative influences. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, you are our life. That the Lord may touch the sick, the sorrowing, the troubled, and those who suffer in mind and body. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, you are our life. That those who have died may be happy forever in the kingdom of the Father. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, you are our life. In the silence of our hearts, let us pray for our personal intention. And let us also remember those people whom we have promised to pray for. God, our Father, you sent your Son to help us in our struggles. Comfort us in our pain and give us the strength to always act with trust in your word. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look kindly, Lord, upon these holy offerings which we make in honor of St. Benedict and grant that by following his example in seeking you, we may merit the gifts of unity in your service and peace through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you are praised in the company of your saints, and in crowning their merits, you crown your own gifts. By their way of life, you offer us an example. By communion with them, you give us companionship. By their intercession, sure support, so that encouraged by so great a cloud of witnesses, we may run as victors in the race before us and win with them the imperishable crown of glory through Christ our Lord. And so with the angels and our angels, and with the great multitude of the saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the true fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and answered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving you thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, 
Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Benedict, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art, art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and save from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I, I am not worthy that you should, should enter under, under my, my roof, roof, but only, but only say, say the word, the word and, my and my soul shall, shall be, healed. be healed. Act of Spiritual Communion 
My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Having received this pledge of eternal life, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that attentive to the teaching of Saint Benedict, we may faithfully serve your designs and love one another with fervent charity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by living a holy life. Thanks be to God.